you know, there's a popular commercial out there that ends with the punchline, what's in your wallet? Well, today I'd like to ask a different question. What's in your breakfast? Coffee? I love coffee. <laughs> oh. I drink up at least a pot of it every day. Is this part of your breakfast? Cereal? <laughs> in a box? Are you kidding me? Breakfast doesn't come in a box. Oh, but you know, some of you naturalists out there, you add the banana. Folks, adding a banana to something that's in a box doesn't make it natural. Or how about some oatmeal? Folks, breakfast doesn't come in an envelope. <laughs> Here's what breakfast is. Another bowl of cereal. It just isn't breakfast. Another cup of coffee. It just isn't breakfast. A chocolate covered donut. It just isn't breakfast. Without eggs. Fried eggs, post eggs, scrambled eggs too. Soft boiled sandwich. Eggs will do. It just isn't breakfast. Without eggs. The incredible edible egg. The incredible edible egg. Truly one of the wonders of the world. Hey, uh, this wasn't in the original plan. When you go to buy eggs and you, you know, you see how people, you know, check them out, all you gotta do is give the egg a little twist in the store before you buy it. If it won't twist, it's broken. <laughs> the egg. Um, some people say they don't like eggs. Well, you used to be one. In fact, we all used to be an egg. We all began life as a single-celled egg. And miraculously, from that egg, it multiplied into more cells, but different cells. We've got bone cells, we've got skin cells, we've got brain cells, we've got blood cells. Billions and billions and billions of cells make up the human body. But as complex as that is, all cells have this in common. They have a nucleus. They have a cytoplasm that surrounds the nucleus, sort of that, that kind of fluid stuff. Um, all cells have a cell membrane. That's what holds them together. You know, otherwise they just kind of <laughs> spill out and mingle. <laughs> uh, some cell cells have a cell wall, such as bone cells. Well, guess what? How many cells are in an egg? Ever think about that? Um, one. In fact, an egg is the perfect illustration of life itself. Eggs have a yolk, that yellow thing in the middle that you poke and it gets, runs all out, you know, and gets yellowed up in your mouth. Um, surrounding the yolk is the egg white. That's the cytoplasm of the egg cell. And of course, if you break an egg and look at the inside of its shell, there's actually a, a skin. That's the cell membrane. And eggs, like bone cells, have a cell wall for structure and rigidity. So profound is the egg itself. Luke in chapter uh, 11 verse 12 uses it to symbolize life itself. He says, or if he asks for an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? Well, the egg is there to symbolize life and the scorpion symbolizes death. But as simple as the egg is, as, and as profound as the egg is, there's all kinds of eggs. We fix them, we fry eggs, we poach eggs, we boil eggs, we scramble eggs. There's all kinds of eggs, just like there's all kinds of Christians. What's in your breakfast? <laughs>